What's going on, YouTube? This is Coach Chaney with The Complete Athlete. Hey, man, first things first, thank you guys for being here and watching this video, man. Without you, I could not do this. I thank you for subscribing. I thank you for watching. Um, if you have not subscribed to the channel, I ask you right now uh, to please subscribe. It really helps the algorithm find my videos so a whole bunch of a lot of kids who search on it, who search on how I play football, what do I do as a freshman, what position I play, my coach is mad at me, just a myriad, how do I get recruited? That's a bunch of topics, man, that kids can search on and they can find my videos because I cover all those topics. So please, you know, even if you're not into football, if you're just, you know, coming to my video by chance, I just ask you, uh, and, and it would, I would greatly appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. But anyway, today I want to talk about offseason. You know, right now we're in the midst of the offseason off season in, in high school football. And I want to talk about things that young guys, maybe guys who played freshman football last year, young guys, things that young guys can do to really get ahead of the game and get ahead of the curve and become a better football player. Um, I don't want to talk about recruiting with guys that young yet. But I, what I want to do is I want to talk about things you can do to help yourself get on the field, whether you're going to go from freshman to JV or some of you guys are going to go from freshman all the way to varsity. You know what I'm saying? But these are things that you can do to be better prepared for that move and that step. Now, first thing, all right, and this is a big one, man, you know, and I talk about this all the time. You guys got to lift weights, man. I mean, not only just lift weights when they have weights at the school, but lift weights, you know, when you get home on the weekends, do push-ups at least if you don't have a weight set. Join a gym. Do some extra stuff. Do some extra supplemental exercises. You know, talk with, you, with your coach first and make sure your doctor is cool and, and make sure you have supervision and be safe about everything. But, man, look, the weightlifting aspect is, is going to be huge, man. Number one, it's got to be weights, man sensibly, responsibly. If you don't have a, a spotter or somebody who can go there with you, go lightweight, high repetition, it don't even matter. Lift weights consistently. Uh, just don't lift weights, you know, four or five times, you know, two or three times uh, every two weeks. You know, you want to get be in that weight room at least five days a week, man. You know, get a, get a workout plan from your coach or your strength and dis conditioning coach. Make sure you're doing things safely and doing things that make sense. But guys, the weight lifting is the number one key to being a successful football player and the weights give you confidence, okay? So along with the weight lifting, you need to eat properly and eat all the time. Um, what I did for my son, man, both of my kids is I, I sent them to school with their own lunch, um, whether it was, you know, chicken and rice, pasta and rice, I mean, pasta and, 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 and chicken or pasta and beef you know, pasta and shrimp, whatever. I loaded them up with the pasta and the rice and the beef and the protein. And then I sent them with a couple of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, you know, so they can fill it in, you know, as they, they just constantly eat all day. They drunk a lot of water. Um, they drunk chocolate milk, get the protein and, and, and to rebuild the muscles. They ate all the time and their bodies, you know, just right before my eyes just started to change. It was like, Man, it, this, I mean, it happened pretty fast, you know what I'm saying? As they grew and as they got taller, um, they, their, their bodies and their faces, they just got older and they changed. And the lifting and the eating really, really, really worked together to make them into totally different football players from one year to the next, okay? And then we added rest into that, sleep, man. Getting that eight to 10 hours of sleep to allow your body to recover and your muscles to rebuild, man. It's just like so many kids skip over the weights. I mean, they, they, they go to workouts and they do the weights at school, but so many kids skip over weights. It's ridiculous. It's like it's the easiest, simplest formula. And then a lot of people say, well, I don't have weights at home and I can't join a gym. But you can do push-ups. You can do incline push-ups. You can do sit-ups. You can do jump squats. You can do pull-ups. You can do burpees. I mean, it's the same thing. You, you can do everything with your body weight. It's just like no excuses, man. So that formula to me is the number one way to achieve success on a football field. When you come, when you become superior in the strength aspect of the game, 
and we'll and later on we'll get the conditioning, we'll get the mindset, we'll get to technique and all that. But everything, the, the, when they build a house, they gotta build, they gotta pour a solid concrete foundation. And I'm telling you, man, the weights, the rest, and the nutrition is what's going. You ain't gotta hire no nutritionist. You don't have to hire no strength and conditioning coach. These are things that you can do on your own along with the weights that you do at school. And I always want you to keep your coaches in the link, you know, in the, in the loop. Don't don't get out there and just start going and buy, get trainers and, and new tra- you know, keep your coaches in the loop. This ain't hard. You, you don't have to overthink this. This is very, very simple. So, guys, weights, nutrition, rest is the key to your freshman jump into a heck of a sophomore, your sophomore jump into a beast as a junior and senior. It's, 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 it's vitally important. Do not skip over it. And this was based off my TikTok channel, uh, Coach Cheney 96, uh, where a kid asked me, you know, Coach, I'm 5'8", 140 pounds. You know, what do I need to do to get become a better football player? And I told him the same thing. This video is, is inspired off that. Weights, uh, eating, and resting. I mean, like, kind of like being obsessed over it, walking around with that water and walking around, you know, hitting that chocolate milk before and after your workouts. Man, it is. I bought so many bottles of that uh, Mayfield chocolate milk for my sons. It's like I was in Publix every day buying dang on chocolate milk. Then I started buying it from Sam's Club, and I was in there every week. But my thing as a parent was this. If my kids took one step towards me in trying to become better football players, I, I would take a million steps towards them. I would give them I'd give them anything they want. I'll cook anything they want. I'll take them to the gym as many times as, as they want. And, you know, that's the key. Man, if you have supportive parents, it's going to be easier. So, fellas, please subscribe, man. If your parents, if you, you drop out of channel, man, if you have any questions, you know, just hit me up and let me know. I'll, let, I'll give you any information that I can. Um, my name is Coach Cheney. I'm a high school head coach and a former college football player, and um, I sent a bunch of kids to college. And um, my mission is to spread the word uh, to young men and women on how to be better athletes, how to be better at the sport of football and and any other sport they choose to be involved in. So, hey, man, do me a favor. All I ask, I don't ask for any money. I don't ask for anything in return. Just subscribe to my channel, man, and, and watch the whole video, and it will really help get the word out about what's going on. So if you have any questions, comment, um, and um, please follow me on TikTok, TikTok at Coach Cheney 96. I'm at Twitter at Coach Cheney 96. And uh, let's chop it up, man. Anyways, Coach Cheney, y'all have a great day. Have a great week. Later.